Hello, everyone. Mm -hmm. My name is Savannah Suber. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm a 19 year old college student. I'm a pre-nursing major and I make a lot of lifestyle videos, beauty videos, just it's a fun time here on this channel. So hopefully you um, stay and join the family, subscribe, watch some videos, you know, have a good time. Also guys, I just got my merch in the mail from Gals on the Go and can we talk about how cute it is, okay? Yep, it's adorable, I love it. Today's video is going to be a what's in my iPad video because guys, I got this iPad two months ago and when I tell you it has completely changed my life. Any person in college needs to have an iPad. If you have the money for it, like I highly, highly recommend. I'm very lucky that I had the money and that I have the means to be able to afford one. If you got an iPad with a keyboard case, you don't even need a computer. Like I didn't realize how powerful iPads were until I got one. Guys, this has changed my life. I will never not talk about how much it has changed my life. Like it sounds crazy, I know. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get on to the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. Before you ask, make sure you look at the description box because I will have everything you need to know in the description box, okay? So check there first, then comment. Love your guys' comments, so keep them coming. Before we get started with the video, I do wanna talk to you guys about kind of like the, all the things that I've purchased for this iPad, um, like the physical cases, pencils, all that kind of stuff. So really quick, anything that I talk about will be linked in the description. This case is like this really pretty um, rose gold pink case. Guys, literally everything I own is this rose gold color. If you couldn't tell, I love pink, okay? It's my thing, it literally matches everything I own because I'm that girl who has everything dusty pink or mo pink mocha, whatever the color's called, I don't know. It's from Amazon, it's really pretty and I love the back because it's see-through and I love this iPad because it's gold but it looks rose gold so. It also has that like awake opening thing so like when you open it turns the iPad on. Um, and I also love this case because it has on the side, so it has a little holder for your Apple Pencil and then it has a little part up here you can put the top lid on and then it has a part down here you can put the charger adapter piece so that way you never lose anything it's super great i love it and the last thing that i bought for this was the matte screen protector i tried using my apple pencil on the glass screen and i hated it i was like no i feel like i'm shattering this glass so got the matte screen protector it was only like eight dollars i also got it from amazon it was amazing it makes writing on the ipad so much better no matter what pencil you have if you have the apple pencil or like one of the alternative ones you need to have a matte screen protector. Pro tip, if you search up matte screen protector, instead of paper-like, the paper-like ones are a lot more expensive than just like the matte screen protector, so save yourself a couple dollars. And the last thing accessory that I bought for my iPad was the Apple Pencil. So really quick, I did a lot of research on what um, kind of stylus pencil device to get for my iPad. I Basically, I chose the Apple Pencil because of the pressure, pressure sensitivity feature, which basically means that when you write in cursive, like if you put more pressure, it'll make the line thicker, and if you put less pressure, the line will be thinner. And I do a lot of like art and stuff on this iPad, and I also took a lot of my notes for college on this iPad. So for me, that feature is worth spending an extra like $30 on a pencil. I know that seems ridiculous to a lot of people. There's a whole bunch of alternative pencils, so if you guys want some recommendations, I'll link the videos that I watched down below. I watched like three videos comparing the different like most popular Apple Pencil alternatives. Like if you just use it for annotating notes, then you don't need to buy the Apple Pencil, you can buy a different one. They have some that are like eight to twelve dollars, they have some that are like 30, 40, they have some that are like 60, 70 dollars. I got the Apple Pencil refurbished, so um, I only paid $70 for that and it was used, it came with the extra tip. It was in really awesome condition. I got it from Amazon, like the refurbished marketplace thing that they have. Um, so I'll leave that link down below too. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the kind of before we start things I wanted to talk about. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's on my iPad now. All right, so I'm gonna have my iPad on the screen right here so you guys can see it like up close. Um, so first thing I wanna say is my background. I also have it as my lock screen, but every time I lock it, it turns the recording off, so I'm not gonna show you guys. Um, but I made this myself on Procreate, but if you guys wanna see um, some of the backgrounds I make, feel free to follow me on Instagram, shameless plug. I'm going to make a story like, uh, what do you call that? Like a story? Um, wow, what are those called? A highlight, there we go. I'm gonna make a highlight of all the backgrounds I make on Procreate. If you guys wanna download them, you can just screenshot them and bring them on your phones, iPads, whatever. So follow me on Instagram for that. Um, but I only have one page on my iPad because I just like the way it looks. Um, on my phone it's definitely different, but I don't know, I love the way it looks just having one page on my iPad. And another thing I love about my iPad is when you flip it to the side, it has like the notification um, dock right here and you can see the battery percentage of your pencil, your iPad, sometimes I'll show you my, like, my AirPods and my um, uh, 
Apple Watch on the side too. It's really, really cool. And you can customize what like kind of previews you can see. So I have my like Canvas app, which I use for school, Outlook, which is like my email, my calendar, and all that. And I love also on the iPad how you can add a whole bunch of apps to the bottom, like Doc. Like you can have up to like, I think, six or seven apps on the bottom and then it has your three most recently used which is really really cool so shout out to apple for that because that's a great idea um but to get into my apps so i have everything on one page and i have it in this pattern of like app folder app folder app folder i don't know why i'm a psychopath i just like have things organized like that um so yeah i have settings and then the first folder i have is just a whole bunch of apple apps um don't really use these i don't really i do have the music one on here just so i can edit like my music covers like on my playlist so if you, if you guys want to follow me in apple music my username is at samantha super i'll link it down below i think it's linked in my social media part of my description so feel free to follow me on there i love music listen to music all the time music has saved my life like it's just the best thing ever next i have calendar which i used to use google calendar but honestly i really like the apple calendar layout I just love how it looks and also I have my iPad on night mode but I hate night mode on my phone if that makes any sense I don't know if that's weird but yeah and I think it just the Apple calendar looks so sleek and smooth and I really want to start using it more um, and having everything all synced up on all my devices I feel like that's a really good idea I've tried using Google Calendar but I just never get around to using it so making the switch to Apple Calendar so okay so my next folder is my college folder and um, I have two pages in this one, but only because my community college app is in the other folder and I don't want you guys to see that one because I don't want y'all like trying to stalk me or something. So yeah, so my college folder, I have the Quizlet app, PowerPoint, Excel, Documents, Check Study, Books, Files, Notes, and Outlook. And these are pretty much just all the apps I use on a weekly basis for school. When you open them on the iPad, they look like you're like, it looks the same as when you use it on the computer. Um, so it's really really great like honestly if you guys if you don't if you need to buy a new computer for school i highly recommend just getting an ipad with a keyboard case and it's literally the same exact experience um if i didn't do youtube i definitely would have the ipad and get the keyboard and the um, pencil and just call it a day like it's really all you need you can do so much on the ipad you can do full excel sheets powerpoints quizlets you can do google docs they have microsoft the whole microsoft office the whole google office stuff that on there um outlook everything like it's all on the ipad it's so great i just it's changed my life guys like ha being able to do all my work on one device is amazing and i do have a macbook too and i love my macbook don't get me wrong but like something about the ipad just hits different i don't know because you can literally get, pick up the pen annotate your notes put the pen back down go on the keyboard if you have that feature and just type away like it's just so nice i just love it i will be doing a study with me video how i study with my ipad video um soon but i'm kind of deciding i'm kind of solidating solidifying English I'm solidifying my study routine right now so I'll be posting that soon because I know finals are coming up for a lot of you guys I will be taking summer classes so don't worry there's no breaks from study vlogs for me anytime soon and then next that I have notability I don't know if you guys can tell but at the bottom of my iPad I actually have good notes I'm trying to decide which one I like better I've been using notability for two months like since I had this iPad because apparently I downloaded the app before I don't remember ever doing that but whatever um yeah so i have notability on here and i love notability it's super duper nice it's never done me wrong i do a lot of notes on here uh, for all my classes love the layout i'm super comfortable super used to it but i really watched a lot of like study with me videos and i was like man i really want to try good notes um i downloaded it like two days ago and i'm still kind of getting the hang of using it but um it keeps crashing on me i don't know why uh, I'll show you some notes I did, yeah. It's really nice. I like it. I'm still getting to hang up with the features, but honestly, this app keeps crashing on me. I don't know why. I don't know if I need to, like, delete it and re-download it, but it keeps crashing and freezing. So I definitely will switch back to Notability if it keeps acting up like this and try to get a refund because I paid, like, $8 for this one. So <laughs> I'm not paying $8 to get crashed on, okay? Um, and then this is an uh, example of, like, how I studied for my last exam. I um, took notes on the PowerPoints, and then I put them on an outline, and then added pictures and stuff, and then color-coded and everything like that. So, yeah, I will be doing a study with me video soon specifically on how I study for, like, science classes and stuff. Um, if you guys want to see a little bit of how I study, my day in life videos usually have studying clips in them. And I just did a video where I pulled an all-nighter to study for anatomy and physiology, which that has a lot of my study methods in it. So feel free to check those out if you guys are interested. Um... This next folder I have is funsies. This is just kind of like stuff I do when I have extra time, which really has not been um, 
very recent. I have been really busy right lately with schoolwork and everything because the semester's coming to an end. Um, but in this folder, I do have Libby, which is like a library app. My library, my county, you can like rent ebooks and stuff like that. I don't know if all libraries are like that, but you can rent ebooks and stuff now, which is really cool. So you know, that's kind of like the way I rent ebooks and read and stuff like that. Then I have the Kindle app, which I like reading the books off the Kindle app instead of the Libby app because the Kindle app you can like customize, like get the page turn and like really customize the fonts of the books, the size of the text, like you can do a lot of customizable things. So aesthetically, it's more pleasing for me. Big aesthetic girl right here. I love when things look nice together. Um, <laughs> shout out to Kaylee from my Hulu and Disney Plus. I do not own it, but I use Kaylee's account. Shout out to Kaylee. Um, Netflix, I've had since forever. I never watched it on the iPad before because I've just never had time. Um, and then I have this coloring app. It's called April coloring I guess I got it in April but it's not April anymore so question mark but this is a really good color by number app and it's one of the few that don't cost like five dollars a week basically you zoom in and you see the colors and then you click on like a color and it lights it up and then you can just color it in I like to color with my pencil but I don't feel like getting that right now so yeah it's a really cute app though I love it and it's free there's a lot of um templates you can do for free because a lot of coloring apps they're like really stingy and like you can't do anything on them unless you pay for five dollars a week and I'm like I'm not about to pay five dollars a week for a coloring app sorry about it Next I have the Gmail app, which clearly I have some emails to read, but it but actually though, so I have three email accounts. Um and I actually did a deep clean of a, a whole bunch of emails, but it just doesn't seem like it because I still have 2,000 emails on red, so don't text. I need to fix that. Um next I have my social media folder, which I don't really have that many socials on my iPad because I use my iPad more for like productivity and school and stuff like that. But sometimes when like my phone isn't accessible, I do like to use Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube on here. I love watching YouTube videos on here. Um, and Instagram is really weird on the iPad. I don't really know how to feel about it. Um, but here's my Instagram if you guys want to go follow me. <laughs> Samantha Super shameless plug. Plug myself again. But guys, I posted a picture. I posted a little story um, because I got my Gals in the Go merch and Brooke and the podcast account. Um, reposting my story isn't it so cute if you guys want to know how to make super cute Instagram stories click the i card I have a video on how I make super cute Insta stories for free so check that out if you're interested I'm actually really proud of it super cute and then there's my queen Jackie Ina yes ma'am I love her she looks so amazing she's always freaking amazing but yeah that's my Instagram if you guys want to go follow me um my battery's flashing that's so annoying next app I have is YouTube studio and clearly I have a YouTube channel I like to respond to you guys on this and it's just great I love having everything on my phone I can edit videos change thumbnails do all that kind of stuff on here with it it's amazing next I have my shopping folder I have Sheen I have Amazon Poshmark and Aerie slash American Eagle love all those places love having an app for it it's really great um, and next I have Procreate and I've really been trying to get used, I kind of get the hang of Procreate because I want to make like stickers and motivational quotes and backgrounds and lock screens and I like have like a side bend to the business but I'm all, I've always been a really artistic like visual kind of person. I think it'd be so cool if I could like make like whatever I want and especially for a lot of my YouTube videos like the way I edit them, I edit them like I'll put like little like texts and I'll draw little doodles and stuff and put them on the screen to kind of keep you guys entertained more. I don't know, I really like the way it looks and it kind of makes me stand out from other YouTubers, I feel like. It kind of just makes my little thing. I'm not saying I'm the only person who's ever done it, but like, I just really like personalizing my videos like that, I guess the better way to say it. But yeah, so I used to do a lot of stuff on Procreate. I'm starting to get the hang of it though, so nothing too official, but as you can see, a lot of my thumbnails I make on Procreate, um, all things to Leanne. I don't know if you guys know who she is, but she makes a whole bunch of stickers. And like, I would love to eventually make stickers. Um, so I've been kind of practicing like doing little doodles. Like I have this little coffee cup. Um, I have one of her stickers. I wanted to like trace it and like practice her lettering style because I like I'm obsessed with it. Of course, I'm not gonna copy her and like sell it, but I just want to like practice kind of like her style. You know what I mean? And kind of get inspiration from that. And then like here, I put this in a video. It's like a little like overlay thing. I don't know if you guys know like those Instagram quotes that people put on their story. I love those. So I want to make some of my own. So I've been kind of just practicing with some of these. Like I made this one. It's pretty cool. Um, I, I usually trace. Like this is all thing Lillian's. I literally am obsessed with her. If she's watching this, queen, love you. Thank you. But yeah, I'm just like trying to practice my different style and kind of find my own style. Like I made this one. I don't know. Just little cutesy random things. Um, yeah, and I do a lot of my thumbnails on here. And then I also have like these templates from Pinterest to like practice my calligraphy because I can use some work on my calligraphy for being honest here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I do in Procreate. I'm not like a professional on that though. And I've been watching a lot of Procreate tutorials and videos. So hopefully I'll get the hang of that soon. 
So stay tuned, follow me on Instagram to see that stuff. You'll be updated on there if I get better at it, is the thing. Um, and then my last folder is photo and video. So as I said, I have been doing a lot of digital art kind of stuff and I edit pretty much all of my thumbnails on my iPad. So if you guys wanna know how I edit my thumbnails video, let me know, because I definitely will do that for you guys. Um, but on photo and video, I have Visco, which Visco hits different on iPad. I was not hip until I got it, I was like, wow. But I do edit a lot of my pictures with Visco. Um, and then next I have Pinterest, which guys, Pinterest is a superior app. I love Pinterest. Um, I, yeah, I'm in my 1975. Like I've been in like a really weird phase with them recently. Love Maddie Healy, I would die for you. If you're watching this, definitely not. But I've been on a really big kick with them recently. Like, oh, that's so, oh my God, anyways. Getting emotional, but um, yeah, I love Pinterest. Please follow me on Pinterest, guys. I love it. Pinterest is so slept on. Like, I literally go on here every day, at least twice a day, just for inspiration and motivation. And just, I just, it's like, it's a great app. Like, I have like little notes inspiration, I have little healthy snack inspiration, Instagram story stuff, just like vibey pictures. Oh, Maddie, you're so cute. Just like everything. Like, Pinterest is just superior, god tier app. Love it. We love her. Um, next I have Pixar, Pixart, Pixart, okay, cool. I have Pixart, which is another slept on app. Pixart is amazing. There's so many editing things you can do. I have, I use Pixart a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> if you couldn't tell on my thumbnails, my Instagram, everything, I use Pixart all the time. It's great and it's free. And then Fonto is like an OG like app um, where you can add text on your pictures and stuff. It's iconic. Um, everybody and their mother knows about this app. It's great. Love it. And then on my bottom row, I have Canvas, which is my school app. So I'm not going to open that because then you all see my grades and y'all roast me. It's like, no, my grades aren't that bad. Um, they're pretty good. And then I have GoodNotes, which I already talked about earlier. And then I have Safari. And then it also has the recent three apps that you've been using. So yeah, guys, that is it for what's on my iPad. Yeah.